Hello everybody, my name is Nicola and welcome back to my channel. This is the Frugal Cottage where we talk all things we need to help you on your financial journey. Today's video is my cash envelope setup for 2024, so don't forget to like and subscribe. And let's get started. So, I feel like I haven't done like a proper kind of money video for ages and I'm excited to get back into things for 2024. There is going to be quite a few videos this week going up because it talks about my financial setup. So don't forget to subscribe so you can see all of those. If you're new here, this is my cash envelope binder. I use this all the time. This is how I budget my money. The cash envelope system used in conjunction with my budget planner, which is available in my Etsy store, has absolutely transformed my finances and I would recommend trying this to anybody. This binder is just on Amazon, I'll link below, or you can get all of these things in my Etsy store as well. But let's go through what my setup is for 2024. To be fair, if you've been a uh, um, a subscriber or you just watch my videos for quite a long time and thank you for that. This is much different to last year, I've added in one and I'll explain why that is and how that will work going forward, bearing in mind that I use a, a zero base budget and a cash budget so it's it's just balancing all that out. As you well know I talk a lot about balancing spending on my channel and this is the way that helps me. So the first one is food, so there are me and my two boys in my house, so food is a fairly major expense they seem to eat quite a lot of things especially when they're not at school so like when they're at home for holidays they seem to constantly want to eat is that just a boy thing let me know down below if that's just a boy thing and they're not even like they're not teenagers nowhere near it so i presume that will only get kind of worse as time goes on but food seems to be quite a big expense and also i don't particularly buy expensive foods but i feel like the price of everything is going up yet again so that's something to be mindful of in the coming months, especially since I want to kind of look at our health and how we're dealing with that. I've been reading a lot about the ultra processed foods and all that kind of stuff over Christmas, which is not the best time to look at that, I'll be totally honest. And it's something that I want to kind of look at within budget in, in the next kind of few months. So I'll talk more about that in another video, I think, because um, I think it might be interesting to see if you can actually do that on a budget and still maintain kind of the lifestyle that you would like so the first one is food the next one is petrol so i do about 50 miles a day to get to my job and kind of traveling on the weekend for different things so i use a lot of petrol in fact i was just talking to my mum this morning just how much petrol i use at the moment is is ridiculous so we've obviously done traveling for christmas to go and see family to go and see friends but i feel like i'm constantly filling my car with petrol the light seems to always or more regularly than I remember it ever doing before, and kind of coming on saying, you need to get petrol. So petrol is the thing I'm going to monitor during the next 12 months. I have got a budget which will be up on the 31st, which includes obviously all of these categories, so come back for that. But petrol is one where I've kind of estimated a number based on kind of previous months, but it's definitely something that I'm going to have to be more mindful of. And it's my biggest expense after my mortgage payment is the petrol. The next is household, so this is things like cleaning products and well household stuff, hence the name. Um, and this is the one that I've actually split up into another one, so there's another one after this. Makes more sense to me in terms of how I spend my money and how I can work out where I'm spending more. So household is one and then if you've been a long-term viewer you will know that I used to have a miscellaneous envelope. I then changed it to have a household envelope and actually now I've decided to make things simple because I'm all about making things more simple especially at the moment with everything that is so busy I figured that actually if I had household as one and then miscellaneous for the other then that would make more sense so like miscellaneous can be things like kind of shampoo conditioner toothpaste all of those kind of things whereas household might be washing up liquid or you know washing powder or tumble dry sheets or whatever it, it kind of it's easy to track I think with the two of them so that's why I've got a miscellaneous envelope back it does mean however that I now have six variable expense categories for my cash envelopes which is more than I've had obviously for a while but I'm hoping that it's not a big change it's not a massive change in terms of what I'm doing but also I'm hoping that it will actually simplify my finances even though there's one more does that make sense? Let me know if you think that's a good idea down below in the comments. I feel like that is the way forward for this. 
the next one so this is actually quite tricky so i'll explain <laughs> um i have two cats hence why i've got a cat's envelope however at the moment they don't live with me because i'm living with my parents while i do my house and if you've not seen that video i'll leave a link below to that but whilst I live with my parents and doing at my house, I can't have the cats with me as well. They're currently living elsewhere. And so I have a cat's envelope, but I am not going to need to put anything in there for now. I'm hoping that they won't be there much longer because I really miss having them here with me. I miss the companionship, the boys miss them. And also there's just something quite relaxing about kind of sitting on the sofa watching TV and even having a little cat curled up on your kind of on you somewhere the other thing with this is that my little cat luna has been diagnosed with a health condition that requires medication con like it will require medication for the rest of her life so i need to kind of sit and work out how i budget for that so that it doesn't well i'm not going to let it run out but i need to make sure that i've got enough there to kind of balance that but she's totally worth it she's gorgeous and I just want her to be okay for as long as possible. So there's that to think about as well. Once I've got them back, um, I am missing them though. I just miss having my cuddles. And then, again, if you don't know, if you're new here, I have two children, I have two boys. And so they cost quite a lot of money, don't they, children? And I find that as they get older and older, they cost more and more, which everyone said, like, how expensive kind of, and doing it wrong it was with childcare but now that they're older they also still go into childcare before and after school and then they need all these other things and they want to do all this stuff and yeah so children is there with the gamer because they're obsessed with games of different descriptions and then the final one is eating out now i actually debated whether to have this in here or not i feel like i don't really want it here but at the same time i'm tempting fate by taking out altogether because Maybe not in the winter months, but in the summer months, if we're out and about, they'll want ice creams or drinks or whatever. And I want to have something there, but do I want it as a category all the time? I don't know. I can't decide about that one. I feel like if I take it all together, I'll end up spending loads of money in the miscellaneous when it could be going from this. And in terms of keeping track of where my money actually goes, having the you know, envelope there for makes sense to have. But it's a, yeah, I kind of sat and thought about that today to, to think about before filming this, what I actually want, but I've left it in there for now. I use these on a weekly basis. I don't think I'll put anything in there weekly. I just, I, I don't feel like, don't feel like we'll need that. And also if I'm trying to look at being healthier and making sure that the health of my children is, you know, as it should be, I'm not saying it isn't, but it could always be better couldn't it we could always do more then maybe eating out doesn't really come into the equation as much anymore anyway so it's there but it might not be there if that makes any sense so my cash envelope system set up for this year there are six cash envelopes eating out children cats miscellaneous household petrol and food and that is my cash envelope set up. i am looking forward to kind of I always like the reset of a new year and a new start and kind of a clean slate, so to speak. And like I said, all of these cash envelopes are available in my head. So if you want to join me, I recommend the cash envelope system to anyone, especially if you're one that struggles with like online shopping, like I used to or things like that, then it, it really is helpful because it kind of eliminates how you do that. But yeah, so are you using the cash envelope system? Let me know down below in the comments. As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you again very soon.